Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. How are we all? Um, thank you. I have been sitting here watching the comments, and yeah, I wasn't intending for there to be a grid, but with the throat chakra, we do use small crystals. Um, it's a very delicate area uh, and especially for me it's very delicate so I would not appreciate a big crystal being placed there or multiple of crystals just because they're small doesn't mean you can put more on they're small because even the smallest of crystal can feel like a house brick on the throat chakra um, and in my workshops I even show people that if you don't want to put it on the throat you could put two pieces on the shoulder near the throat um, so you don't have to work directly. I hate, hate seeing pictures of multiple crystals being used on the throat chakra. Because if you've got a client who has had something with their throat or they've been in domestic abuse where they've had hands around their throat, that's going to be, it's going to, flashbacks it's going to be awful for them it's not going to be pleasant and what you want for your clients in crystal healing is for them to be relaxed and calm and if they're conscious of something on their throat that's choking them that's <gasps> putting pressure there they're not going to relax they're not going to enjoy the treatment so today is the my top five crystals for the throat chakra so when i was sitting there with the multiple of crystals because they were tiny because they're small crystals i brought multiples to them and then lo and behold a grid manifested a grid was formed from them so yeah thank you for that um good afternoon Anne. hello 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 good afternoon leslie evening anna I hope you're well, thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Hey, Lucy, I hope you're well. Evening, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Hey, Leslie. Hi, Carolyn. So, yeah, we are going to be looking at my top five for the throat chakra. And again, let me know what crystals you use for your throat chakra. Um. I'm sure there's going to be some that I'm not bringing up today that you know of. Um, so what works for you is brilliant and keep doing that. Um, you also realize that with the higher chakras, you do tend to, even I, stick to the colors. Um, we, have, we resonate the blue color with the throat chakra. So you do find that when you work higher, you become quite strict and nope, it's blues. So we've got the blue, the blue brigade in today. So let's drop down and show you these. So first up, my birthstone, beautiful chunks of aquamarine. Lovely, beautiful. And this is my icebreaker. This is to help encourage the flow. So if you are working continually on your throat chakra, if you're somebody who uses it a lot, then keeping it free from blockages, allowing that flow, that freedom of speech, um, aquamarine, is really beautiful to use. Absolutely gorgeous pieces here. Um, it is, like I said, the birthstone of March, um, which used to be bloodstone, but then aquamarine came in and took over. So yeah, aquamarine is a beautiful crystal for the throat. Um, if you think of the icebreakers who, you know, those ships that work on the Arctic, crushing the ice as they're going. That's what this is. So if you feel, oh, I need a little help. I need some aid here to 
speak what's in my throat. I've got a frog in my throat. You know that? Oh, there's a lump there. I need it. I need it gone. Bring in Aquamarine. Beautiful. Member of the Beryl family. So shares the same family as Emerald, Morganite, Gossanite, Heliodor. Um, and there's also a green Beryl as well. So that is my number one that I use for the throat chakra. Also good for GERD, acid reflux. If you're somebody who suffers from that, I do. I have a hiatus hernia and, oh gosh, um, acid reflux I suffer badly with. I bring aquamarine um, and again, either place it on my throat or around the throat area and allow it just to soothe that burning sensation. So really good for that as well. Um, next on the list is the stunning turquoise grandfather energy. If you were with us the other day with the soda plexus, um, we delved into malachite, which is a copper mineral, and here we have turquoise, which is copper mineral but i get grandfather energy with this very old um, very good for helping you to connect with your past lives helping you to communicate in those times when we go into our past lives don't expect to be the same person you are now there you could be of a different nate a uh, different religion different um native so you'll need to learn that tongue. You'll need to learn that language from where you were there. So turquoise is brilliant for that protection. Um, I think everybody resonates turquoise with protection, especially the First Nation. They were very strong with using turquoise. They used to put it around their camp, around their teepees. Um, Teepees, wigwams. I think they're both the same thing, aren't they? I don't know. I think they are. Um, they used to put them around that. So, yeah, beautiful energy there. So if you're somebody who needs to protect your voice, if your voice is your profession, counsellor, solicitor, um, singer, anything that you're using your voice for, protect it um beautiful for that next one it was a card that came up today larimar beautiful pieces of the blue pectolite pectolite is a white mineral but when cobalt or copper goes into it then we have beautiful Larimar, which is only found in the Dominican Republic. So the name is the Dolphin Stone. A great aid for Atlantis. And again, this is a nice crystal to meditate on, especially if you want to reach other civilizations or if you've got a link to other civilizations so the egyptians the atlanteans the lemurians or if you feel like you're connected to the pleiades again communication helping us if we're communicating with that energy it's going to help us to put that communication into place so we might find that we don't talk this language we talk something else, light language and codes. Beautiful. But yeah, very good there. If you think of dolphins and you think how they communicate and how we would wish to unlock their codes, unlock their squeals, their squeaks and clicks, 
working with Larimar, you can start to break down those barriers, start to understand other languages and other communities. Beautiful crystal. Love Larimar. Then another one of my favorites, um, Andean Blue Opal. So from Peru, we have the beautiful Andeans. And just like the opals, just like we spoke yesterday about the green opal being cleansing, we have blue opal, which is cleansing for our voice. So if we need to speak and we want to, you know, if we want to scream and shout, if we want it to be clear, this is what I want. This is what I need to do. And we need to make that crystal clear. Then Andean Blue Opal will be a beautiful crystal for that, cleansing it. Anything that is stuck in your throat that doesn't need to. I can't see where I took this from there. So beautiful crystal to use there. Helping our voice. Absolutely lovely. Andean blue opals, they're quite a mixture between the common opal, but without the fiery flashes of fire opals. But you can really see the water content. You can really see how it looks like the ocean. So beautiful. Do do wear blue opal if you need confirmation, you need to speak. There is another type of blue opal from Madagascar, and that's these crescent moons. So these are also blue opal, but completely different. These are more of the common opal, like the green opal, coffee bean, pink white the other opals we get from madagascar takes that on whereas it's completely different when we look at the andean blue opal really stunning and then we come to chrysocolla which is, again, another copper mineral, but such a supportive stone. Love Chrysocolla. It is the sister to Malachite and the granddaughter to Turquoise. And this is about speaking, speaking your beliefs, speaking what you believe in, standing your ground. It really, not only does it work on your voice but kind of brings in a warrior energy into you so if someone's taking the mickey if someone's overstepping the mark and you just need to realign the boundaries know that hey you're stepping on my toes here back off punk then bring in christ a collar beautiful um if you are working with very alpha males very strong alpha male energy like malachite then bring in chrysocolla or if you can give them chrysocolla because when we get the alpha male they can sometimes have too much masculine energy so bringing in chrysocolla allows the feminine energy to balance out that masculine so bringing in a perfect balance. Um, something else came into my mind then with Chrysocolla. What was it? It was talking to me and I was like, wait a minute, I'm just finishing my sentence and then I'll say it. But it seemed to have gone. Um, and that's where 
that was it. It was Maracala. So that's where we get the beautiful Maracala is Maracite with Chrysocala combined. And they're beautiful stabilizers, beautiful balancers, because we've got the masculine of Maracite with the feminine of Chrysocala. So bringing them together is beautiful. So if you see any Maracala, beautiful. But yeah, anyone who feels like they've got strong masculine energy, cool it down with Chrysocala. Really good for people to speak out. Um, I said at the beginning of this talk about how delicate the throat chakra is. And especially for people who have been in domestic abuse. Um, and if there is anything going on in your life that you have fear of speaking about, you have fear of talking. I'm not just talking about the females out there going through this. Anyone can go through that situation. Christ of color allows you to bring in that support. Stand on your two feet and find who you can speak to about that. It encourages you and aids you in speaking it. It can't be inside you. Do not battle with those demons and don't battle being in that situation. So it's a really important crystal to use around the voice. Um, a little bit like a Mazanite in speaking your truth. Um, but Christ kind of really allows you to seek who you can confide into and talk about this problem, talk about this issue, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's in your family, whatever it is, whether it's within yourself, you feel that there is a problem. It helps you to seek that wisdom, that advice. And yes, I think I confide in this person. Please help. I need help. So lovely crystal and that i think brings me to my top five for the throat chakra so in a minute i'm going to pass it over to you guys what are your top five what is your top crystal for the throat chakra um and as you find because on monday we'll be going over to the third eye and there will be a lot of um, crystals that would be for the third eye that you could take to the throat. And there's a lot of crystals for the throat that you could take to the third eye. Um, it's quite a anything goes because we're working with the indigo colors. So sometimes people take some crystals to the third eye that some people think that's for the throat. Doesn't matter. It's what you feel it needs to go. That's what matters. So aquamarine, larimar, turquoise, Andean blue opal, and the beautiful chrysocolor. Let me know your thoughts on those beautiful crystals. Let me pop back up. So what do we think? Where are the comments hey hannah hope you're well good evening norma nice for you to join us hey stacy lovely to see you those crescent moons yeah they're pretty special they are gorgeous um between six pound and that we've got some for six pound seven pound and eight pound for those um that's a beautiful opal. Yeah. Love. Um, this one is really shining out to me, but my husband would kill me if I kept any more opal. I'm, I'm a Piscean. I love my watery crystals. So, but yeah, th there are some real beauties there. But what sort of crystals would you use for your throat? Um, and again, thank you guys so much for your suggestions. I'm getting quite a few uh, written in my book at the moment for my five o'clock appointments. Uh, my top five at five. A few of you have swung some amazing suggestions. So really good. 
Um, Leslie, Blue Lace Agate. Absolutely. Absolutely. But and Blue Lace is one of those where so many people resonate it with the throat chakra, which, yeah, it is blue. It's in the name, Blue Lace Agate. Um, but I take it to my third eye. So it might make an appearance on Monday. It might not. Um, because I'm kind of a third eye kind of guy. I my energy is in the third eye sh chakra. I love being in that energy. I love what it's all about, and I love the crystals that are there. So when I open my third eye chakra drawer, I dread to think how many of them gonna go, me, 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 pick me, pick me. So it's perhaps gonna take all day Monday, and I, there'll be a lot of swapping <laughs> over, but I will narrow it down to five. Um, but yeah, blue lace is a beautiful one. Um, calming. It's got those lovely waves in it. So when we're working with that, it's not going to. It's not going to be so direct as perhaps aquamarine. Um, it's not going to be the same energy as opal. It's just going to be calm, cool. Yeah. Any words that you need to say and you think, I don't want to sound like a bitch, but how can I put this in a way that is not going to make me sound like that? Blue lace would be my crystal to go to, to soothe out anything. And if there's anger behind the words, blue lace is good for soothing that out. Um, just like a Mazanite, um, we spoke about yesterday. Um, Norma, I love Chrysocolor. Is lapis and sodalite good for the throat too? Are they all good for thyroid conditions like, I don't know what that word is, but um, lapis and sodalite, again, if you feel drawn to using them on your throat chakra, do. But I like to use sodalite and lapis for the third eye because they're very dark blue they're almost on that indigo spectrum so they're the crystals i would perhaps use more so well i do i do use them on the side like but if that's what what you feel drawn to then yeah use it on your um throat it's your energy it's you know the crystals will resonate with you where they need to go so feel with that yeah um opal is good for thyroid, um, turquoise for protecting it. So, yeah, there's a couple on here that would do that. Blue lace again, that's slow energy working with that. Anna, I've always felt drawn to Chrysler Color and feel it as a beautiful, soothing energy. Gonna get friendly with aquamarine as it's such a beautiful energy as well. I love aquamarine. Dive in, dive into that aquamarine and just go with the flow. Blow that throat chakra out there. And I'm here. Woo! It's perhaps why I'm so talkative because I was born in the month of aquamarine. It's perhaps why my throat chakra is. Yep, we'll see that. We'll hear Daniel before we'll see him. We know when he's about. It's my voice. Aquamarine. Mm. Um, uh, can you please add a crescent moon to my... Of course I can. No problem, sweetheart. Blue appetite. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And as it says, it really gives you that consciousness of your appetite. Um, so it's a brilliant crystal to use if... You want to have a conscious thought on what you're putting into your body um, and also the lack of what you're putting into your body. So if you're somebody who needs to eat more, appetite will allow you to feel a little bit more hungry, get a little bit more food inside you. If you're somebody like me that could do with eating a little less um, appetite, which is why it's not made my top five. <laughs> Who on earth wants to eat less? <laughs> I want more. <laughs> I want more. So appetite didn't make my top five, even though it's beautiful, gorgeous. But yeah, I don't want it 
I don't want it to restrict what I'm eating. But if you want to think, oh, actually, I could do with saying I'm full. I don't want seconds. I don't want thirds. I don't want to go to the car free and pile it on my plate as though I've not had anything for a month. You know, I'm that kind of guy. Oh, yes. And I don't waste any. It's gone. I love my food. Um, But yeah, appetite is really good for that. Really nice to have appetite in your dining room. Or when I'm saying dining room, that's because I've been watching Downton Abbey. Like, we might not all have a dining room. But where you are eating as a family, it's nice to put some appetite around there because it helps to um, stop fussy eaters. They're my worst people. I am so blessed. Touch wood. Fossilized wood. That Reuben is not a fussy eater. Hallelujah. Because, I mean, I've had my friends who have had kids and, you know, them who like something one day and then adamant the next day that they hate it. No, no. Like, oh, I couldn't. I couldn't cope with a fussy eater. I could cope with children with many conditions, fussy eaters. No. So appetite really helps to encourage a healthy appetite. So helps children to relax a little bit. Also good for discussion, appetite. So helps to keep the conversation around the dinner table to be clean, to be encourageable, to be active. So, yeah, it really helps um, a a strong, healthy communication, conversation, rather, around the dinner table. So appetite has got many, many benefits, uh, but more physical, more for it being out there. Um, So, yeah, it should really be on my top five, but no. (laughs) Um. Leslie, Sapphire and Chrysler, Sapphire, girl. Um, Again, I use Sapphire for the third eye. Um, But yeah, blue Sapphire, you could put that on the throat. Yes. Um, Anne-Marie, I love the Mortierite. I do. Um, This will, this will definitely be on my um, third eye, because that's where I take it. I take the mortuorite to my third eye, because it's the land. I'm not going to tell you. We'll wait till Monday for that. Um, Always get a good vibration from that. Otherwise, I go for the more calming blue lace, chrysocala, aquamarine. Love blue kyanite there too. Yes. Um, But blue kyanite wasn't here today, because we've had a week with blue kyanite. You know, so Blue Kyanite has been our crystal for the week um, this week. So next week, um, the crystal of the week is Labradorite, Labradorite. I will say it right one day. I will. Um, I always say um, Labradorite and it's Labradorite because it was first discovered in Labrador. So the name of the dog with it on the end, Labradorite, not Labrad. Um, so yes, next week, crystal of the week, Labrador, right? We had this week, the grid for compassion, which is still up behind me. Um, the beautiful grid for compassion next Monday, it's going to be our grid for courage. So start thinking, I'm already starting thinking courage. What crystals can I bring onto that grid for courage? So Monday we're doing that. Tuesday will be the day for Lab- um, Labrador, right? Um, Caroline, drat, I'm late. You little white rabbit, you. <laughs> um, what can I use Sujalite for? Third eye crown. Um one of my favourites for the Crown Shark, Chrysusialite. Love it. Um, oh, my fave. 
Labradorite. Yay. Absolutely love Labradorite. Good. Love Labradorite. Oh, I love Lab. Brilliant. Oh, good. So that will be next week. I hope you've enjoyed this week. I have loved my um, five at five. And next week, we'll carry on with the shark quiz at five. So we'll look at third die on Monday, crown on Tuesday. And then I'm going to start knocking out some of the others five at five um, that you guys have suggested or some that I've come up with myself. And then in a few months, we will look at the higher chakras. We look at the earth star, the higher heart, the soul, the spirit, the universal, the galactic, and then the divine gateway. Um, that's what I work with. That's the 14 chakra system I work with. There are so many out there. Um, but that's what sits right with me is the 14 chakras um so yeah thank you guys so much for being here um enjoy the rest of your evening and have a great weekend um like i said we are going to be at glastonbury we're going to be leaving in a minute to go to karen's um we are at glastonbury all weekend so if you're around and about do drop in to the town hall. Do come and see us all that are there trading, selling our wares, giving our knowledge. Um, it will be lovely. If not, I will see you Monday at nine for the grid. Courage. I'm going to need a lot of courage. <laughs> and Monday at five for the third eye chakra. If any of those pieces are speaking to you and you want to know a little bit more information, their prices, what have you, do get in touch. Do let us know and we'll do them because I am just about to bag these up and they will be coming to Glastonbury. So I wouldn't advise to wait till Monday um, to inquire because some of these might be going at Glastonbury. I don't want you guys to miss out. So, yeah, have a great time. Remember, if you can't heal yourself, how the hell are you going to heal somebody else? Love you all lots. Keep being crazy cats. See you Monday. We're off to Glastonbury. Yes. So excited. Use your voice. I want to hear you scream, shout, let it all out. Bye.